Diego Lopez looked like he was having a a bit of a, 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 a lazy morning. <laughs> he did. I think that Diego Lopez Diaz is going to go. This is his event to lose tonight. But Zolian Kong is not going to make it easy for him. Also, watch out for Hernandez, who's having a great meet, a phenomenal meet, I'd actually say, as well as Denis Ostapchenko, who's always strong. There is Diego Lopez. He comes to the wall so hard that he is not unaccustomed to fracturing bones in his hand. He's a man who has the rare distinction of winning two gold medals in individual events on the same day at a world championship. For that, he received national honours when he got back to Mexico after achieving that at the last world championships in London. And quite remarkable swim, the man who is now based at the High Performance Centre in Mexico, the National Paralympic Training Centre, CEPAMEX. Palamarchuk, Boni, Hernandez, Ostachenko, Zo, Lopez, Martinez, and Topf. This is the final of the men's 200 meter freestyle S3. It is eight competitors who will be doing battle for gold, silver, and bronze. Now, Topf is going to get off to a fast start and he'll use the underwater as much as he possibly can. He's good on the turns and he's certainly good off the starters' blocks, but has he got enough energy, strength, and stamina and endurance in those legs to last for a medal place? A man who's shaken things up in the shorter distances but battles to uh, go in the start. Now, Lopez, what's interesting to note here, and uh, Deb, your, your comment on this, is the fact that he swam freestyle front crawl in the, in the preliminaries, taking it easy. He's gone for his uh, preferred backstroke in this freestyle event now in the final. Yeah, exactly. So that he does do that every once in a while, and he does that to rest the muscles in his backstroke a little bit. But now he's turned on to his front, and he's going into freestyle. Lopez Diaz often uses the backstroke to get himself out first, and that's sort of what he did here to try and hang with the other three swimmers. But Zhou Liang Kang, Asap Chengo, Hernandez continuing to do the backstroke, and now Lopez went into the freestyle and has fallen behind. So Hernandez, though, is going along very nicely, the 29-year-old, a uh, champion in the 150 individual medley for his first international gold. It was a bit of a surprise gold for many, but Hernandez has not finished outside the top four in any of the many events that he has swum at Tokyo 2020, and he's picked up a couple of medals along the way, including a breaststroke bronze and that gold I spoke about in the individual medley. Great underwater shots. Gives you an idea of how much water he's actually catching when he is in his stroke but a good turn from Ostapchenko who's been uh, coming up now and sees him out in front just beyond the 100 meter mark and this is surprising for Lopez Diaz he's in fourth place still um, right now the right now it's Ostapchenko that's leading with Hernandez starting to catch from behind Zolian Kong starting to fade here goes Lopez Diaz passing him a little bit you wonder if Lopez Diaz is going to turn back onto his backstroke for that final leg in order to come home but whether or not he'll have enough room to chase down Hernandez and Ostapchenko unclear yet so Mustapchenko is managing to maintain that advantage over Hernandez. Another good start here would set him up nicely for a gold medal. Vincenzo Boni is making up some speed and is making up a little ground on the four swimmers ahead of him in the pool as he goes in lane two. But coming to the wall, it's going to be uh, Ukraine's Ostapchenko, the fastest man in the world this year, who turns. And Hernandez looked to have had the uh, better turn, but Ostapchenko straight into his stroke here, and Lopez has... Yep, Lopez turned on to his back. This is, we knew, he, we thought he might do this because his backstroke is faster than his freestyle. Freestyle, he was using it to rest a little bit because he has to make this final charge if he wants to take down Ostapchenko and Hernandez, but right now, those two are looking good. Well, he is making up ground, is Lopez, while it is at the moment uh, Zolian Kang, who has fallen out of medal contention. Hernandez is just tightening up a bit, particularly his uh, right arm. The left arm is turning over nicely. Ostapchenko, though, is being chased down by Lopez, who is coming back in lane six. The world champion is closing, but he is not going to touch first. Ostapchenko is going to hold on here. But who is going to take silver and bronze between the two Mexicans? Ostapchenko is the champion. Lopez touches second. Hernandez third as the two Mexicans will edge out Zulian Kang of China. And Lopez Woo! takes the silver medal. But Ostapchenko Woo! knows what a big performance this was. Lopez, he'll take the silver. But the world champion misses out 
on that glorious goal for now 1.95 seconds down on Ostapchenko but a silver medal place ahead of Jesus Hernandez coming home now Miguel Angel Martinez of Spain well Lamarchuk touching eighth overall the compatriot of the champion Ostapchenko fantastic swim from the 20 year old a bronze medal in the 53, a silver in the 50 back. He's got gold now in the 200 free. This is Hernandez who had a bronze medal to his previous bronze and indeed his gold from the 150 IM. Here goes Top out first. Great underwater by him and goes out to this early lead as we knew that he would, but then his legs start to fade and here's Hernandez. What a swim by him. I mean, what a games by him overall. This is, he's managed to medal in multiple events, but this 200 was Asapchenko. He stayed on his back the entire time. And here he is right now going into the wall just ahead of Hernandez and Zolian Kong. And what Asapchenko did is he went out fast and he managed to stay ahead of everyone despite the charge at the end from Diego Lopez Diaz. Lopez Diaz does have that strong backstroke, but he turned on to his front in the middle and he tried to make up time with the backstroke at the end, but Asapchenko was too far ahead. Great swim by him. Wonderful endurance. He was pulling away at the end was Ostapchenko. It was a strong finish from Ukraine's Ostapchenko. Fastest in the world this year. He's kept that up and posted a new fastest time in 2021. A 3.21.62 for Ukraine's Denis Osapchenko ahead of Diego Lopez. And Jesus Hernandez has the bronze medal for Mexico. Zolian Kang misses out.